Now at five construction goes on today on Intel's $20 billion project here in central Ohio. The trucks, bulldozers and cranes continue to make progress after the company announced yesterday it's pushing back its 2025 timeline for chip making there. 10 TV's Doug Petcash has the latest on the project and how cities near the site are responding to the delay. Construction is continuing here at the Intel site in Licking County and nearby cities are taking news of the pushed back timeline in stride. A forest of cranes, a sign of continuing progress on the massive site of Intel's $20 billion chip making project in central Ohio. Since the project broke ground in 2022, cities including New Albany and Johnstown have been preparing for the future influx of 3,000 Intel employees and 7,000 construction workers. The city of New Albany released a statement about the timeline change, saying in part, there is no delay from our perspective as we always anticipated construction would take three to five years. The city of New Albany will continue to fulfill its commitments of completing related infrastructure. Johnstown's city manager said, we understand projects ebb and flow and at times can decelerate or accelerate due to internal or external circumstances. Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown echoed that. This, it's not unexpected. We knew that this is a long, complicated process. Uh, we work with Intel. We talk to them every, every couple of days, every week uh, to partner with them what they need. On Thursday, an Intel spokesperson said due to business conditions and demand environment, the company no longer expected to begin high volume memory chip production in 2025 and that projects like this take three to five years. She said, as we said in our January 2022 announcement, the scope and pace of Intel's expansion in Ohio depends heavily on funding from the Chips Act and business conditions. Senator Brown said the funding has been a bit delayed. Some of the funding they've gotten, I believe, um, but we, we are working with the White House. We're working with the Department of Commerce. We're working with Intel. We're working with state government. Um, it's, a, it's a collaborative thing. The Intel spokesperson also said, we remain fully committed to the project and will continue to make considerable progress on the construction of the factories and supporting facilities this year. They're committed, we're committed to working with them um, and it's gonna happen. In a statement, Intel says 800 to 900 construction workers are on site and they expect to have several thousand by the end of the year. In Licking County, Doug Petcash, 10 TV News.